What's up guys, my name is Francois, welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. In this video, you'll learn how to creatively blend two pictures together. We'll take a picture like this, and we'll put it into a completely different picture looking like this. We'll also cover how to add shadows and highlights, as well as how to gel colors together. So if you're ready, then grab your snacks, get comfortable, and let's get cracking. The first thing you need to do is to remove the background of the first picture and just keep the person. I've got a full dedicated tutorial on how to do this, so feel free to check it out once you finish watching this video. So once you've got the picture masked out, place it into the background picture. As you can see here, the perspective of the two pictures don't match. So in order to change that, press Ctrl Command T, right click on it and select Skew. Be very careful with this tool because it's quite easy to lose proportions of the picture. If you hold down the Shift key whilst dragging the corner, you'll move them on only one axis. Once this is done, create a new layer, make it the same black as the flow area at the bottom and create a clipping mask. Add the mask layer to the black layer and paint out the top of his body and the top of his legs. Add a new layer, paint it in 50% gray, change the blending mode to overlay and create a clipping mask. You can then use this layer to add highlights with the dodge tool and add shadows with the burn tool. Make sure you change the harmony and opacity of the brush to get more subtle results. Also, you can cycle through the range of that tool between shadows, mid-tones and highlights to focus on particular areas of the picture. For this sequence, I wanted to create a sandwich lighting effect with the middle part of the subject body being dark and the edges being brighter with some light spill. And also, I wanted a quite strong color contrast between the blues and the pinks. Here, we're starting to see the contour being brighter than the middle part. So here you can see me painting out the dark bit until I'm happy with it and making sure that the highlights match the overall picture. Once you're happy with the blend of shadows and highlights, it's time to colorize those highlights. Add a new layer, call it pink, set its blending mode to multiply and create a clipping mask. With a very smooth brush and low opacity, start by painting the edges on the right side. Meanwhile, you can also add a new layer, call it blue, set it to multiply and create a clipping mask. If you're a smart cookie, and I know you are, you would have guessed that this layer will be used to paint the blue highlights on the left hand side. Finally, once you've done the whole contour and you're happy with it, it's time to add some close edges highlights. Add another new layer, call it whatever you want, and create a clipping mask again. This time we'll leave the blending mode as normal, but lower the opacity to around 60%. For this one, you'll want to do a more precise job, following the edges equidistantly. Yep, this word actually exists. What you can also do if you're feeling completely nuts is go back to the blue and pink layers and paint the highlights on the wrinkles of the clothes. Oh, and here I get a little bit crazy, so I started adding a rectangle with some pink glow on it, I placed it behind the subject, and I even added some text. Yeah, I'm crazy like that sometimes. <laughs> Finally, what you can do to gel the colors together is do some color correction. Uh, here I actually added a lot as well, so you can see even more strongly the two dominating colors, the blues and the pinks. There you go, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something useful. If you did and you didn't mind my accent, make sure you like this video, get subscribed and hit the notification bell. If you're wondering what to watch next, I highly recommend you to watch this video right here. Thanks again for watching, my name is Francois, see you in the next video.